to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be The Explorer by Zingari Man. This is a cologne dupe of, I think it's Bulgari Man Wood Essence. The scent on this, well, she, I mean, to be honest, she pretty much nails it on the front. The citrus woods and vetiver. Opens with the citrus, dries down with the woods and vetiver. It's a very unique scent. I could see why people definitely like it based on, you know, the cologne and whatnot. I'm going to be using my 28 mil V3 tip, my Poseidon brush, which is a beautiful brush made by Milton. And I have an incredibly special razor to show you guys today. Um, so this is our titanium Christopher Bradley razor. Now this, this won't be for everyone just because of the the overall price point. Um, the reason we've tested this is because we, in terms of feedback we've received by a lot of the community, a lot of the community have gauged, I love the aluminum razor, but I love a little bit more heft. And honestly, I think this has been absolutely nailed. So if you looked at these two materials here, this is the stainless right here with its argyle handle. There's a new handle pattern. We haven't named it yet, we will. It's just in the middle of both the aluminum and the stainless steel in terms of weight. I'd say it's about one and a half times the weight of the aluminum, maybe even twice the weight of the aluminum and half the weight of the stainless. It's almost perfect in weight. Um, it feels much heavier than a, I'd say it feels heavier than a chrome razor. Let me go grab the D89 and I'll see if that is the case. So overall, in terms of balance, it feels much heavier. Well, I wouldn't say it feels heavier, it feels better balanced. The D89 is so head heavy when the when this razor is quite, they're about, I'd say this is probably a little bit lighter, but it's well more balanced. So I think you'll have a more even shave from it. Let's see about that. So this is my first use of this. I haven't used this razor yet. I'm really looking forward to trying it, and I look. It's a carved razor. I know it's going to be a very. I know it's going to give me a good shave, but is this the saving grace, or not so much saving grace? Is this the new thing that everyone is has identified with this? Because, frankly, I've heard from a lot of people that have said um, titanium will be the perfect weight for the Christopher Bradley razor, and we're about to find out. So. Let's get our brush shaking here. Let's get lo get to loading. Don't need to load too heavy with Singari Man. Just a decent load, that's all we're looking for. So yeah, I'm very curious to see how this shaves. The handle design is very, very intricate. Um, like all of our handles, instead of them being forged, they're cut into the handle. Um, that specific pattern being cut into the handle takes quite a long time to make. So I'm, Really impressed with what Chris has come up with. Well, I had a little bit of him, but I'm really impressed with what Chris has predominantly come up with with this handle. You know, he's the guy that makes it, and <laughs> it, it looks very impressive. And once you guys get it in your hands, whoever's considering it, it will impress you based on the weight as well. The tolerances have been tested um, relative to stainless steel, so. The unique thing about titanium is a very a, a similar kind of level of tolerance, but it has much, much reduced weight. I used to work for a company that um, specialized in racing bolts. Um, what I mean by racing bolts is they sold bolts, they supplied bolts to race teams and uh, MotoGP. And we used to use a lot of titanium and race teams would literally spend thousands on decking out their bikes with titanium bolts because of how much weight it saves comparatively to stainless steel. So let's take the let's take the glasses off here. We get our face wet, and we're gonna get lathered up. <sighs> I I really like this scent. It's very fresh. It's an all-round scent for me. This this applies to loads of seasons. It has the citry, citrusiness for summer. It has the kind of woody darkness for 
autumn or winter. It's just an overall great scent. I'm happy uh, she chose to dupe this. Okay, let's uh, clean the top of the pot here because I don't like loads of soap residue. I'm really looking forward to shaving with this razor. <laughs> Believe me. I work for the company, but I'm just excited as you are when trying our products out because I'm one of you, ultimately, you know? This is gonna be a cracking lather already. Okay, let's get down the tips. This brush has excellent backbone. So yeah, that's, that's, those are the main differences really between stainless steel and titanium. They have pretty similar tolerances. The, the main difference is in weight. And I think the, the unique thing is with the Christopher Bradley razor, we achieve pretty high tolerances with metals that don't typically have high tolerances like aluminum. So I'm very, Looking forward to seeing how the community perceives the titanium tolerances or just the general, just the general performance of the shave. Bottom line is it's a Christopher Bradley, it's gonna be good, but we've, we've actually had a lot of requests for the titanium razor. Before you ask, in terms of price point, we're not sure yet. We need to make a few of them and then we can gauge how much they'll cost to make, but at the moment, we're not quite sure. As far as the release date goes, we're aiming for sometime in April. So I'm gonna be testing this for a good while. And then we'll kind of gauge whether it's good enough to release to the public, which it will be, but because ultimately it's, a, it's the same razor design we've used time and time again, but it's in a different metal. And the unique thing about metal is it can, it can perform much, much differently from one to the next. So I look forward to seeing what titanium brings to the Christopher Bradley table. All I can say is I know, I know Justin um, wants to collect all the Christopher Bradleys. <laughs> well, I'll tell you if it's worth the money. Wow. Beautiful lava. So we're gonna just paint some water in here. I don't need much volume with this soap base. To be honest, you don't really need volume with any soap base, but for me, especially this one, because it just deals with being quite low structure very, very well. Getting a haircut a bit later before I go to England. As it is, I'm going to England tomorrow. Okay, let's paint some more. I have a question actually for you that have made it this far. Do you prefer the videos where I have a discussion or do you prefer the videos where I just shave and talk shit? I can do both. And I'd rather do what people prefer watching from me.
Let's push it a bit further here. I think we're there. Yeah, that's pretty much what I look for here. Beautiful leather. Okay. We're good, okay. Let's do this first shave with this uh, prototype titanium crystal Bradley. Inside this, I have a fresh Gillette Nasset. Wow. So that's more to my taste than the aluminum in terms of face fill. It's weird, it shaves like a hybrid of the two. I say two, although we have three razors. For me, the brass and the titanium shave the, the brass and the stainless shave the same. Well, yeah. The way I would describe it is it's as easy to control as the aluminum with the extra beef of the tight of the stainless. Yeah, this is an excellent razor. I love the look of titanium as well. It's slightly darker than stainless. More of like a gunmetal color. Wow, yeah, that's a great razor. <laughs> okay, let's uh, put the face and we're getting past two. Wow. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I would say. It has the maneuverability of a aluminum with the extra beef of something like the stainless, and it does a good job at it. We'll see how it is on these subsequent passes. I'm gonna do a bit of an against the grain pass to see how it goes. Lather up for pass two. Yep, this is a great shave.
yeah, this is, <laughs> I mean, what I would say, If you've been looking for a bit of an extra, you love how the aluminum shaves, but you've been looking for a bit of extra weight, this would be good for you. If the titanium, or if the stainless is too heavy, but you think the aluminum would be too light, or you don't like something anodized, this is absolutely an option for you as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed. It's doing against the grain pass, or at least a bit of one. Very good. And we're going to leave it at that. That was a great shave. And the colour, the difference in colour is actually really noticeable when it's wet. It's like this dark grey colour. It's very, very cool. Let's get the loose soap from the brush. I'll give you my verdict at the end of the video. Um, kind of how I feel it shaves comparatively and everything. I'll try and put it a bit more eloquently. But no. Firstly, I can say that it shaves very well. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's a surprise to no one. It's a Christopher Bradley razor. You know what you're getting yourself into. But, it's definitely a more exotic material. When I was doing some market research for this razor, really not many people make titanium razors. There's a few reasons for this. One, titanium is quite difficult to machine. Two, the metal itself is much more expensive than stainless steel. And uh, three, I don't know if there's a huge market for it. Because of the cost of the metal, it means that obviously the cost of the razor would be a bit more. Let's uh, wet the face, or at least rinse the face. We're gonna get into the post and we'll talk about the razor a little bit. Singari's power shave is just top, top tier. <laughs> it's so good. I'm a, I'm a friend of Heather, yeah, but that doesn't take away from the fact that she makes one incredible soap. Okay, let's drop stuff everywhere. I am gonna go with my good old 
splash. Let's go with splash. What's this one? Let's go with splash 10. Give that a go. From Zingari Man. Get a good amount of that. This is a help. This is an alcohol splash. And I had zero burn. Going against the grain, which for me just doesn't really happen, honestly. Um, yeah. Let's uh, get the bomb on the go and then we'll talk about the razor. So like always, Zingari man, aftershave bomb, full Zingari shave today. Let's get the uh, bomb spread. Okay, that was a phenomenal shave. Um, let's do a recap and then we'll talk about the razor. So, soap of choice today was one of my favorites from Zingari, the Explorer, wonderful scent. Um, Bulgari Man, uh, wood essence scent. Balm, unscented. The cool as shit, turn and shave Poseidon brush. And last but not least, this butte. Let me uh, dry it off a bit. Okay, so let's, let's think about this uh, titanium razor a little bit. So how does it shave? The way I would describe it is it shaves similarly to the aluminum with a bit more weight. Something I don't like about the aluminum is it naturally has lesser tolerances than a stainless or a tie. And because of that, Every single aluminum razor has a tiny bit of blade chatter. Unless you really gauge how it feels, you won't notice it. If you shave side by side with the stainless or the brass and then the aluminum, you'll get it a little bit. Every razor has blade chatter. During market research for the aluminum, we found that ours has some of the smallest amount of blade chatter. Titanium is an option for people that like the aluminum and don't want the blade chatter. Or alternatively, want a slightly want slightly bit more weight. Um, like I said, I think this is what, about one and a half to one and three quarter times the weight of the aluminum, and I think that adds to a a shave like a hybrid sh shave, slightly in between the stainless and the aluminum. It's, I mean, it's a Christopher Bradley razor. You know how they shave? They shave very well, consistently well. Daily drivers for a lot of people. It's just the change in material for me makes the difference. And for, for this, th this is, I don't want to go and say it's the best shave. I've not put enough time with it yet, but based on that first shave, that is the face feel I like. The titanium is much lighter than the stainless. The stainless glides because of its weight, but this is not light. This guy's not light, but it's also not really heavy. and. It, it has that element of control, but with the glide of the stainless, if you know what I mean. It's a fantastic shaver. I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces. Anyone that has any questions, just kind of direct them my way and I'll see how well I can answer them. For anything I can't answer, I'll ask Chris and we'll kind of go from there. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Also, while you're at it, check out the Razorburn podcast. All the links are in the description below. I put on a podcast with my good friend Heather from Zingari Man. We talk to and just have conversations with some artisans, some YouTube personalities, stuff like that. It's good fun, a good laugh to record, and we've had some very positive feedback thus far. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. My name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now.